notice like any other list it's flowing vertically where well, we're going to do something to change that and make it flow horizontally let's have a look at it in Firefox so in the web browser of your choice now you'll also notice that the list is right up against the browser window and that's because we took out all of the default margins and padding okay so let's go back in Streamweaver now we'll go into the CSS now the CSS is located next to the source code at the top of the window just click on that and we'll create a little bit of a space just below the nav bar selector and we're going to set up a CSS rule for pound lava wrapper which we set up just now because we need to control the position of that wrapper where it's going to hold the menu so we're going to type in margin colon and we can set the top and bottom margins to zero and the left and right to auto we'll set the width to 700 pixels that should give you enough room if you're creating your own um, menu at home to put in all of the links notice that a nice little div has been created in the center there for us uh, we're still going to need to take the list items out notice that there's some bulleted lists well we'll take those out soon okay now if we just separate all of the styles that we created to get the effect to work and uh, you can do that put by putting in a CSS comment which is forward slash star star forward slash and press refresh okay now we're going to go back into the, we're going to go down into the files panel now and you'll notice that it says lava CSS styles so if you click on that that's all of the styles that I created or amended from the original CSS styles and if you copy those and we're going to paste those into that CSS document now okay so just click right click and paste all of the styles in and then click refresh and you'll notice that the list item all of the list items the bulleted lists have gone and the menu is nicely structured and laying horizontally across the background now the list style was set to none which took the bulleted list out so there was nothing there but the text then the list items themselves not the unordered list but the li tags were floated to the left and that created the horizontal menu now I did change a lot of the CSS styles from the style sheet that I downloaded um, and I'll include a copy of the original so you can see that all of the changes that I made to that file to get it to appear into this tutorial in the horizontal menu the way it is okay so I've just previewed that in Firefox and you'll notice that all of the list items are there that's fantastic we're almost there we just have to set up the JavaScript hooks now so we're going to go into the source code and uh, we're going to go right up to the head of the document so you will want to be positioned just inside the head the closing head tag so that's after the CSS document there which is I've called main.css so if you create a space between the CSS and the closing head tag and we're going to open the file called scripthooks.txt now you want to copy all of the information that's in there and then we're going to paste that into the head of the document into the head of our HTML document so just right click and paste okay now if you're a beginner or you've never used JavaScript in your web design before don't worry I'm gonna make this very easy for you now we have to set up three path links to the JavaScript files which I have in a folder called JS for JavaScript now the first script file is for jQuery library if we just highlight all of that including the quotation marks and press delete then press shift and 2 for the quotation mark and we're going to browse for the file now it's in a folder called JS which is located in the site root of lava lamp folder so just click inside the JS file okay we're looking for jQuery 1-2.3 sorry 1.2.3 and uh, press OK. Now the second one we're looking for the lava lamp uh, JavaScript so we're going to do the same thing delete the quotation marks then press shift and 2 and we're going to browse for the jQuery lava lamp file. Now the third file we need to set up is for the easing effects it is an optional file uh, but you're going to want it so we're going to highlight again the quotation marks and we're going to press shift 2 browse for the file and we're looking for the jQuery easing minified so select that press OK 
Now if you did everything correctly and you didn't mess up along the way then you should have exactly what I have while I'm previewing the browser now and there's the bubble and if I go over all of the links you'll see that it follows the bubble follows with an easing effect over all of the links and that looks great. Now what we need to do is I'm going to set up a hover um, selector inside the CSS because when, when we roll over we want, we want to make sure absolutely that we're on that particular link so I'm going to set an opposite color of white from black. Okay, so let's go back into Dreamweaver and if you notice at the top before we go into CSS that all of the JavaScript files are now attached and appear to the right of the CSS file. Okay, so let's go into the main.css or whatever you called your CSS document and I'm going to set up a pseudo selector for the hover link now. So we're going to target the lava lamp, the list item, the link inside the list item and we want a hover. So every time we hover over that link we want it to do what I'm going to type now and we're going to change the text color so when we hover the text color will change to white and while we're here we might as well set a text shadow and we'll set it to one pixel on the horizontal, one on the vertical, two pixel blur radius and we'll set the shadow to black. Okay, so I'm going to preview that in Firefox, and there you go. Okay, so let's hover over the effects. There you go, and you can see the text shadow as well. That won't work in Microsoft Internet Explorer just yet, not until the Internet Explorer 9 comes out, but it works in Firefox and it also works in SeaMonkey and um, Google Chrome and Safari. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.